Welcome to the tutorial on logic design using decoders. In this particular tutorial, we mainly deal with n is 2 to the power n decoder, which is one of the very convenient ways to generate an n variable min term and realize an SOP expression. So here is a first question which says we need to implement the functions using 3 is to 8 decoder and the functions f1 and f2 are given in terms of the min terms and these functions have three variables. So you can see I am denoting the three variables as a, b, c and at the output side I have 8 lines because with 3 input variables we can have 8 combinations of output that is 0 to 7. Now since the function consists of min term representation we are going to form a group of the function f1 corresponding to the decimal notations 0, 4, 6 and 7 and combine them using the OR gate. In a similar manner for the function f2 with three input variables a, b, c since the function is again mentioned in terms of min terms I need to combine them using the OR gate. So in this case I have to combine the decimal notations 1, 4 and 5 which I have indicated using a different color. So this completes the implementation process. Now one important note that you should remember is that the number of inputs to each OR gate could be the number of min terms in the expression. We have just now seen how we combine the number of inputs can be reduced by implementing f bar that is the complemented version instead of f and finally invert the or output by f. So this simply means that you can simplify by replacing the or gate with the nor gate and this is one of the procedures which can be adapted when the number of min terms in a function is more than half the total number of possible min terms. So we will see this in the upcoming numericals. So here is a question which says implement the functions using a decoder minimizing the number of inputs to be summed. So we have two functions f1 and f2. Again clearly looking at this we understand that there are three input variables represented as a, b, c. So we need to make use of 3 is to 8 decoder for the implementation purpose. So what I'm going to do here is instead of using an OR gate I will try to complement the function f and represent in terms of the NOR gate. So you can see that f1 becomes f1 bar to be equal to summation m 1 comma 4 and f2 becomes f2 bar to be equal to summation m 0 to 5. So you have minimum number of decimal notations that have to be combined together along with the NOR gate. So this is one clear example of the previous note that we have seen that if we have a larger group of min terms and we are using an OR gate we can replace that with a NOR gate by taking the complement of the function. So 
So the next concept that we have is active low and active high. Now so far whatever we were dealing with we didn't specify what should be the output of the decoder whether it is supposed to be a logic 1 or logic 0. Now if the operation is an on operation and you have output to be equal to 1 we consider it to be active high and if the output is 0 then we consider it to be active low whereas if the operation is off operation and if it is a active high case then output will be 0 and active low case output will be equal to 1 usually we make use of the active low operation and this is the one which is commonly used in the decoder IC packages which is used to generate the max terms and implement the canonical POS expressions. So here is an example of a 2, two is to 4 decoder with inputs A and B and the output you have Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. I have represented the decimal notations corresponding to the input variables and you can see that for decimal notation 0 Q0 is equal to 0 indicating that it is an active low case. Q1 will be 0 for decimal notation 1, Q2 will be equal to 0 for decimal notation 2 and Q3 will be 0 for decimal notation 3. So this is an example of an active low case for a 2 is to 4 decoder and the corresponding output is also mentioned with the decoder diagram drawn. So in this case what we do is we just take the complement of the output function and we can represent the expression in terms of max terms. So you can see that a bar b bar complement will be equal to a plus b. So that is a max term corresponding to M0, then you have M1, M2 and M3. So these max terms are used to implement the canonical POS that is the product of some expression. Next example, let me consider a 3 is to 8 decoder. So in this case I am going to consider the active low case with output to be equal to 0 when the operation is on. So I have three inputs A, B, C which I am going to highlight in the decoder diagram and I have the outputs Y0, Y2, Y3, Y4, Y5, Y6 and Y7 and I am going to highlight the corresponding outputs for logic 0. The decimal notations are also marked. One important thing to be remembered here is when you are trying to indicate an active low output you are supposed to bubble the outputs. The bubbling of the outputs is necessary to indicate that it is an active low case and not only that when you bubble the outputs this implies that you are corresponding to the outputs which are represented in max terms. So that is why even in the 3 is to 8 decoder case I'm going to bubble the outputs and show the max terms with uppercase M. Using the solved numericals let us analyze what we have understood. So here is a question which says implement the function in max term canonical form using the 2 is to 4 decoder with active low outputs. So you can see that the functions are mentioned in the form of shorthand notation which indicate the max terms. So I have placed the 2 is to 4 decoder and I have the inputs A and B. And what I need to do here is since it is a max term representation I need to bubble my outputs. So I am going to bubble the outputs indicating that it is an active low case. and max term corresponds to the product so that is why I need to make use of AND gate 
so to implement the first function f1 I will highlight what is the decimal notation corresponding to them so you have 0 1 2 and 3 so I need to combine 0 and 3 using an AND gate and for a function f2 I need to combine 0 2 and 3 using a AND gate the next numerical says that we need to implement the function using a 3 is to 8 decoder with active low outputs so the functions are mentioned as a b c with summation m so summation m clearly indicates that we need to use max terms so I'm placing the decoder marking the input variables bubbling the output to indicate that it is an active low output and to implement the function I will make use of the AND gates so I have 0, 1, 3, 5 and 6 which I need to combine to obtain the function f1 and I have decimal notations 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7 which I need to combine to obtain the function f2 like the way we have seen for the case of implementation of min terms we can also do in a similar manner for the implementation of max terms in the case of the min terms we had replaced the OR gate with a NOR gate so obta to obtain the simplified case similarly in this particular case what we can do is we can replace the AND gate with a NAND gate so I will show you another case wherein we can implement the same functions f1 and f2 by taking the complement of the function and using a NAND gate so for a NAND gate the function f1 can be implemented as summation m 2 4 and 7 for the implementation of the second function f2 we have f2 complement to be equal to summation m 0 1 6 so here is a question which says we need to implement the function using 3 is to 8 decoder with NAND outputs or active low outputs the question is mentioned in terms of min terms for implementation of the NAND outputs we need to represent in terms of max terms so represent each of the functions in terms of max terms and then we can represent in terms of the NAND gates so I have the function f1 which is represented as 1 3 5 and 6 so in max terms I need to consider all the remaining decimal notations so 0 2 4 and 7 for the function f2 I obtain in terms of max terms expression to be 1 3 4 and 7 so I need to bubble the output because it is clearly mentioned that it is an active low output case so I'm going to bubble the outputs and corresponding max term decimal notations I am going to combine and use a NAND gate next we will try to realize the half adder and the full adder similarly half subtractor and full subtractor using the decoders so the first question says that we need to realize a half adder circuit using a 2 is to 4 decoder so what I'm going to do is I will first use the truth table highlight the inputs and the outputs that is inputs are a and b outputs are sum and carry and the output will be high for the decimal notation 1 and 2 in the case of sum and for the carry the output will be high corresponding to the decimal notation 3 so for the realization of a half adder I will require just 2 is to 4 decoder so I need to combine the decimal notations 1 and 2 for the sum and decimal notation 3 directly will give me the carry 
in the case of the full adder using 3 is to 8 decoder we can realize this by looking at the truth table of the full adder we need to highlight the output corresponding to logic 1 for the sum and the carry and write the expression in terms of shorthand notation so since output is corresponding to logic 1 I can write the representation of the output in terms of min terms so I have sum is equal to summation m 1 2 4 and 7 and carry to be equal to summation m 3 5 6 and 7 so I will use a 3 is to 8 decoder and combine the min terms to represent the sum and the carry for the realization of the half subtractor we make use of the 2 is to 4 decoder because we have two inputs and two outputs inputs are a and b and outputs are difference and borrow so even in this particular case I am going to draw the decoder with an OR gate so I need to represent the expression for the difference and the borrow in terms of the min terms corresponding to logic high so difference can be written as summation m1 comma 2 and borrow can be written in terms of summation 1 so it's just one particular min term so I will draw the decoder and combine 1 and 2 to give me the difference and borrow will be equal to 1 the last case is the realization of the full subtractor using 3 is to 8 decoder I have the truth table I will highlight the outputs corresponding to logic 1 so that the representations can be done in terms of the main terms for the difference and the borrow because there are three inputs I need to make use of 3 is to 8 decoder because I require eight output lines and again in this particular case looking at the expression for the difference and the borrow I can combine using the OR gates